People in the park were very interested in one elephant in particular while they were there. Everyone was taken aback when she gave birth to her child. A peculiar occurrence happened in the animals that are native to Africa a few years ago. This occurrence took place in the Ambassada National Park, which is a sizable tract of territory that can be found in the southern region of Kenya. There are many different kinds of wild creatures that call the grassy environment their home. Cheetahs with spots can use the area to stretch their legs, and zebras with stripes are unrestricted in their ability to roam around to their heart's delight. It's simple to recognize the towering giraffes that are comparable in height to the remarkable trees that are unique to the area. Despite all of this, the park is most well known for its elephants, which are not restricted in any way and are allowed to freely roam the country. Because visitors to this location get the opportunity to get up close and personal with herds of giant creatures, the location is a popular tourist destination. The park is home to over 2,000 elephants, all of which may be found roaming free today. Despite the fact that there are a seemingly endless number of species in the globe, the title of largest land mammal goes to the African elephant. Not only do they have a size that's unmistakably their own, but they also possess a plethora of other physical stunning qualities, such as their strength and their endurance. However, their remarkable physique comes with a few drawbacks that should not be overlooked. For instance, in order to keep their weight stable, they require a significant amount of food, and their insatiable hunger can be sated only by consuming food at regular intervals throughout the day. One further element that sets these creatures apart from other living things is the fact that their gestation time is the longest of any mammal that's currently alive. It takes an average of nine months for a human mother to carry and deliver her child, whereas an elephant's calf's pregnancy can continue as long as 22 months. According to the findings of several scientific studies, a prolonged pregnancy is necessary for the normal development of the brain. Along with the size of their limbs, the brains of elephant fetuses take even more time to grow completely. This is because of the size of their limbs. The fact that elephant pregnancies are so unusual is not the only thing that sets them apart. It takes roughly 10 years for a woman who has previously given birth to a child to become eligible to have another child. This stage of rehabilitation is a challenge which is unfortunate. It's difficult to conserve elephants, which are a species that's on the verge of extinction, due to the fact that they can only produce one child every 10 years. On the good side, this means that every time an elephant gives birth, it's seen as something really extraordinary. There was an elephant in Ambassada National Park that was pregnant and it gained the attention of the park owners. Paru already had a child of her own. She had a calf quite a few years ago and it had grown to be a robust and healthy since then. Due to the fact that the calf was a female, it naturally developed a strong bond with Paru. In elephant societies, the relationships between the females are characterized by an extraordinary degree of loyalty to one another. Male elephants are quite pleased with their lonely existence and spend the majority of their life roaming aimlessly by themselves. On the other hand, female elephants are hardwired from birth with the need to interact with other members of their family and form bonds with them. More so than any other wild animal, female calves spend a large portion of their lives with their moms. This is the case more so than with any other wild species. In point of fact, the bonds between these ladies can last for several decades. The Ambassada Trust for Elephants is Norganary's place of employment. The answer that the researcher provided in response to a question regarding how African elephants behave at the park was as follows. When we talk about families, we mean the kind of groups of people who remain close throughout their entire lives, including cousins, grandmothers, and sisters. The oldest woman in the family serves as the head of the household, there's no grandfather or father figure in the family. Researchers are particularly interested in the complexities of elephants' feelings because of their great level of intelligence as a species. They're one of the few animals in the United Kingdom who mourn for their dead, and they have unique ways of expressing sentiments of joy and contentment in the world. One of the most distinguished features of these people is the intense affection that they have for their family members, especially the love of a mother. The bond that existed between Paru and her daughter was unbreakable. Since the moment she was born, the mild-mannered calf would be close to her mother at all times, never venturing too far away. Although this may have been normal behavior for elephants, there was certainly something unique about the closeness that existed between these two individuals. Eventually, Paru became pregnant again. Not only the employees of the park, but also the people who worked to preserve the species were overjoyed. From all appearances, Paru was on her way to having another delivery that was trouble-free and without complications. Even if there was just one African elephant named Paru, there's still reason for optimism regarding the population. 
During the entire time that Paru was carrying her child, the child never left her side. It seemed as though the young elephant was looking forward to the arrival of her new sibling with enthusiasm. When the day that had been anticipated for so long arrived at last, Paru's daughter was there to witness it. There were a number of park employees present, all of whom were prepared to provide assistance to the newborn elephant in any way that was required. The arrival of Paru was a tad bit delayed. Initially, the workers had high hopes for Paru's offspring, but as some time passed, a few of them became afraid that something might be wrong with this pregnancy. They were already familiar with how pregnant Paru looked, and the workers were unable to overlook the fact that her stomach appeared to be more enlarged in comparison to the last time they saw her. The mother elephant, who was 39 years old, maintained her composure. She did not appear to be lacking in any way in her preparation to meet the newest addition of the family. The length of time it takes for an elephant to give birth can range anywhere from a few hours to a few days, depending on a number of different circumstances. It was discovered that Paru did not require any more than one day. The moment word got out that this wild elephant, who had been pregnant for quite some time, had finally given birth, people's moods immediately improved. Nevertheless, this pregnancy was unlike any other I'd experienced before or afterwards. Something that hasn't been seen in the workplace in 40 years was presented by Paru, much to the workers' amazement. In March of 2018, Paru became a mother to a pair of infant twins. She gave birth to a baby boy as well as a baby girl. All of those who had gathered around the mother elephant and her young were taken aback by their sight. The last time a mother elephant gave birth to two calves at the same time in Embasada National Park was in the year 1980. Additionally, this was the only time that the park ever saw the birth of a set of twins. The family patriarch was known by the name Estella. Her summertime miracle babies, Equinox and Eclipse, were given their names at the time of their birth. According to the Kenya Wildlife Service, having twins is already a rather unusual occurrence among humans. However, the incidence of having twins in elephants is even less prevalent. When one takes into consideration the diminishing population of African elephants in their natural habitat, the concept of mother elephants giving birth to more babies is undeniably appealing. However, those who work in the field of conservation are well aware that the chance of survival for siblings of animals that were born at the same time is quite low. Soon after their birth, the newborn twin elephants were introduced into a group of other elephants. Approximately 40 elephants were already part of that herd when those two newcomers joined it. These twins, like their older sister before them, had an intimate bond with their mother as they grew up. However, if the little twins were to go a little further than normal from Paru, their elder brother would always follow them about and keep track of where they were going. There are many people who believe that Paru's first daughter has taken on the role of a mother for herself. The children stayed close to one another whenever their mother went out to graze, which required her to go across the area. In point of fact, whenever Paru intentionally put some distance between herself and her children, the three of them grew closer to one another. There were multiple instances in which their elder sister calmly watched them as their younger sibling burned off some of their excess energy by playing around. You can see them moving together in three, said Kenneth Olanashu, who is the senior warden at Embasada National Park and is one of many people who have been specially assigned to protect Paru and her family. Kenneth Olenashu is just one of the many people who has been specially assigned to protect Paru and her family. A significant number of the park's employees have witnessed Paru's development into the adult elephant that she is today. Many people believe that she was destined to be a mother from the moment she was born. It was a blessing that Paru enjoyed excellent health throughout both of her pregnancies, as it's been equally fortunate that she's not experienced any issues since then. It seems as if she's always been helped along by fortunate circumstances. Since quite some time, Ambassada National Park has placed a high premium on ensuring that all the elephants that live on their territories are in good health. Because of the birth of these twins, the staff members have been more aware of the potential threats and perils that could befall the wild animals. In spite of this, the wardens have been able to effectively combat the problems caused by poaching by combining their efforts with those of the people living in and around Nairobi. Currently, there are hundreds of people from the community working on the project. Concerns for the preservation of animals are at the forefront of many issues facing rural communities. Do you feel a responsibility toward the conservation of natural resources? According to Kenneth, this is an extremely unusual circumstance in terms of conservation, particularly with regard to the elephant population. Despite this, Paru's offspring exhibit the same resiliency as their mother had when they were young. The young twins have shown a vivacity so far that's impressed the environmentalists as they hope to continue to do so in the future.
This joy for life is evident not just among the guests that visit, but also among others who have learned of their tale through various forms of social media. Let's keep our fingers crossed that these young elephants have a successful life ahead of them.